Fantastic Four, not Fan Four Stick, um, but Fantastic Four. Uh, John Watts, of course, walked away. We all saw this, and but this is the uh, the quote right here. <laughs> From Mr. John Watts on Departing Fantastic Four, making three Spider-Man films was an incredible and life-changing experience for me. I'm I'm eternally grateful to have been a part of the Marvel Cinematic Universe for seven years. I'm hopeful we'll work together again, and I can't wait to see the amazing vision for Fantastic Four brought to life. Okay? So when this, when, when news broke that, he walked, of course, naturally. Everybody's like, what the fuck? I mean, this is kind of funny. It's the same fucking week that Justin Lin decides to walk. Um, but this is, of course, a little bit different. I mean, I'm sure John Watts had his struggles and had his big time stress, when, especially when it came to Spider-Man No Way Home. I can only imagine the stress and just getting phone calls time and time again about this and changing that. Because, I mean, even though Spider-Man No Way Home was such a pleasant and 10, 20 years of Spider-Man cinematic history wrapped up into one that had to be just like grueling. It just had to be grueling, but I'm sure there was some great moments, like a lot of great moments. And we've seen that in the behind the scenes, but the man is tired. Seven years, three, he did a Spider-Man trilogy. Okay. Spider-Man trilogy. And now you're going to try to revamp fantastic four. I do not blame the guy for wanting to just be like, no, I can't. I can't. That's so much pressure. So much pressure. And we talked about this on the Vox stream and you in the Patreon stream. You know, it's all very interesting. And uh, and uh, stop. Don't even mention anything that's happening uh, when it comes to leaks. Don't, don't do it. But, uh, you know, um, you know, some names have been thrown out there of directors who might take over. I mean, I think Peyton Reed, people say that Peyton Reed. I don't think Peyton Reed should take over. Get somebody new. Get somebody fresh. Get somebody with, a, you know, with a unique taste. I mean, it would be nice if you got somebody that actually had a distinct style, like a directing style to do Fantastic Four. I mean, I think Josh Trank tried that, and it just didn't work, and it, you know, some of it had to do with Fox, you know. Because I always say, when it comes to Fan Four Stick, I'm always like, there was a good movie in there somewhere. There's definitely a good movie in there. There's some parts in there I'm like, whoa, man, that right there, that's good, that's good. But, you know, but sadly... It's just the way everything happens right now. But good on John Watts. And I know he's doing something over on Apple TV. He's going to do something smaller. Something, again, you just got to take these breaks. Even Zack Snyder has talked about it. Like when he was talking about horse um, horse latitudes, he was like, that's a passion project, a small movie that he wants to do that's going to have no green screens. And he's like, I, he's like, I don't want to see green screens anymore. I mean, of course, now he's doing Rebel Moon, which is green screens. Um, but at the same time, it's just like, what he's what, what well, at least what Zach's doing right now, he's doing his own passion projects, his own concepts, his own worlds, his own universe and everything like that. I'm just glad that now, like when you have directors like John Watts and Justin Lin that were involved with these big, huge studio movies that, you know, they're constantly getting notes left and right from studios and producers and all this stuff. It's like, just, just take a break and just do re remind yourself of why you became a filmmaker in the first place. And I think that's, what's going to be happening with John Watts and it's going to be happening with Justin Lin and good, good on them. Good on them. So